Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, firstly, I would like to also acknowledge the traditional owners of land on which we may pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. I um, extend a warm welcome to you all here today for the season launch of West Tigers in 2020. I extend a warm welcome to Fiona Martin, who's here, I don't remember, the Reed, um, the State Treasurer, Mr. Carity, Dominic Perko, I think he's arrived as yet, Angelo Serekis, Mayor of Canada Bay, Darcy Byrne, Mayor of Hillbest Council, David Troyland, Chief Executive Officer of the New South Wales Rugby League, who may not have arrived as yet also, Mike Bailey, who I have seen, Chairman of West Asheville, members of the West Asheville Board, Dr. Leslie Glenn, Chairman of the Balmain Rugby League Club and members of the Balmain Board, fellow members of the West Tigers Board, West Tigers Life members, and West Tigers Foundation members. Shortly, you will be addressed by our CEO, Mr. Justin Pascoe, and he will speak to you about the fundamentals of the club concerning membership, profit and loss, financial stability, the Centre of Excellence, and the like. All the things which are critically important in establishing the foundations of a successful NRL club. The things that can be easily measured, the tangibles. What I would like to discuss with you are the intangibles. The things that cannot be really measured, the things which are determined by faith, belief and gut feel. What my faith, belief and gut feel tell me, in the immortal words of John Paul, George and Ringo, circa 1967, it's getting better all the time. And it is getting better, much better. There is no doubt that we are a much better and stronger club than we were 12 months ago. Better as to the tangibles and the intangibles. Recently, Justin and I had the opportunity of addressing the playing group. It was an open and honest discussion. There was recognition by all that we have not achieved the success in recent years that we and our members and fans have longed for. The success that we believe that we are entitled to. It was unanimously agreed then that this year was going to be different. This year, each year and every one of us would do our best. And by our best, I mean our very best. Whether that be I, as chairman of the board of directors, in terms of every decision that we take, we ensure that it be the best decision in the interest of the club, the members, and the fans only. By being the best, it means that every action or decision taken by Justin and the executive be the best action or decision that can be taken in the circumstances and solely for the benefit of this club, its fans and its members. By being the best, it means that every instruction, drill, training schedule and procedure implemented by Michael and the coaching staff be the best that it can be to get the best out of the playing group. Then we pause and we ask ourselves, was that the best that we can do? And if it was not our best, we'd do better. Most importantly, the players acknowledge themselves that they need to be their best as well. The best they can be in every circumstance, whether it be on or off the field. Good enough is no longer acceptable. To be the best, we must first acknowledge that we have not been our best up until now. We have made mistakes, we have taken shortcuts where we should not have, and we have made decisions which, with hindsight, have not proven to be in the best interest of the club. To be the best, we need to acknowledge those mistakes, rectify them, and never repeat them. For the players to be the best they can be, they must give their all. Whether it be a tackle, a kick, or a run, then every tackle, every kick, and every run must be the best they can do. And if it is not, they need to ask themselves, why not? Each of us made that commitment on that day to each other and to the club. To be the best that we can, can be, and nothing less will suffice. There is no point in shying away from the harsh reality that we have not enjoyed success in recent years. But that time has now passed. I left that meeting confident that Justin, our football manager Adam Hardigan and our head coach Michael McGuire have put together the most impressive playing roster to represent this club for many years. I've always operated on faith, belief and gut feel, the intangibles. Do I have belief in those who are charged with the responsibility of managing this club and coaching this team that they will produce their best? Yes, I do. Do I have faith in this playing group that they will produce their best, both on and off the field, and represent this club to the best of their ability and honour the jumper that they wear? Yes, I do. What does my gut tell me? It tells me that we are heading in the right direction, that we have the right people managing this club, and we have the right people representing it. The truth is, I could not feel any better about this club than I do today. I am absolutely convinced that from the board of directors through the executive, the coaching staff, the front office, and all to the players, 
We are all finally pulling in the same direction and we all want the same thing. In one of my first interviews after my appointment as chairman of the West Tigers, I said that Ben Hockley is no longer in our vocabulary, and he is not. No one remembers or cares who came second, only winners are recognised. This year, and in all preceding years, this club will not be endeavouring to make the top eight or the top four. We have one unified purpose and one purpose only, that is to win premierships. Here at the West Tigers, close enough is no longer good enough. It's all about being our best, and we know that at our best, we are unbeatable. No other club can draw upon 200 years of analog history. No other club can boast a joint venture of two foundation clubs. No other club can harness the strength of its fans and members, stretching all the way from Leichhardt to Lincoln and beyond. We are unique and special and entitled to succeed. I would like to address the players directly. This is your time. This is an opportunity for you to make your mark in history. Each of us will stand behind you and provide you with all the encouragement and support that you need. We will cheer you on as you run onto that field. We will rejoice with you in your wins and lament with you in your losses. But you are our warriors, our champions who have been asked to represent us on that field. You wear the jumper that bears the magpie and the tiger which for over 200 years your predecessors have shed blood, sweat and tears. It is your time to honour that jumper, to honour your team, your club, your family and most importantly yourself. Each of us have been joined to this club for a reason. You have been asked to give and to give your best. Your time has come and now you must step up and be counted. Nothing less than your best will do, nothing less than your best is acceptable. There are over 400,000 people who identify themselves as fans of the West Tigers. There are over 400,000 people who look to you to make their lives better and give their lives greater meaning. I can talk the talk, but without the walk it gets us nowhere. I cannot undertake that walk, nor can the executive or the coaching staff. It is your path to walk. But as Robbie Farrell would have said if he was here, you will never walk alone. We will be with you every step of the way. It may be easy for me and other members of the executive to assert as positively as I can that we will enjoy success in 2020. A somewhat bold assertion. It is the future that we want, but it has been said that the best way to predict the future is to create it. The club's future is ours for the making. Our story is yet to be written. We stand here with pen in hand, ready to write the next chapter. It is with absolute conviction that I say ours will not be a fairy tale nor mythology. It will be a true story of brave men succeeding in the face of all adversity and pushing themselves beyond their limits for one purpose and one purpose only, to be our champions, to be eternally recognised as such, to be fated, idolised and worshipped by over 400,000 people and to be recorded in the annals of our history as our champions. That is your motivation. This is what must drive you to push and push even harder. And when you are the best that you can be, you push even more. For at the end of the day, it will be worth it. I have no doubt that each and every one of you will do this club proud. To those players who are returning to the West Tigers in 2020, welcome back. To those players who have joined the West Tigers in 2020, welcome home. And as I told the playing group on that day, a premiership will not only provide eternal reward and recognition, but it also provides a channel with a premiership ring, and I want that ring. <laughs> the big ball goes to spoils, and it is our time to be spoiled. I would also like to recognise the fellow board members of the West Tigers who are here today. Although we're only in the chair for a very short period of time, I have been overwhelmed and humbled by the warmth and the generosity extended to me. I would like to thank each and every one of them. I would also like to thank the executive and the front office of the West Tigers for the welcome that I have received in my new role so as to enable me to be the best chairman that I can be. I would also like to formally acknowledge the sponsors and members of the West Tigers. These are people who not only have faith and belief in this club, but also commit their financial resources to it. I would like to acknowledge our major sponsor, Riders Lawyers, who will again be with us in 2020. What an outstanding sponsor they have. <laughs> I would also like to acknowledge and thank Meriton, Nets, ISC, Carlton and United Breweries, Allied Express, 
MSR Services Australia, Ticket Tech, Israel Truck Seats, UTEC, Waterview in Bicentennial Park, Western Suburbs Lakes Club, Campbelltown, Espresso Organica, Bellevue Capital Financial Services. I would also like to acknowledge our number one ticket holder, uh, Peter Benet, and our West Vegas Players Club members. We urge the sponsors and individuals I extend the appreciation of the club for your continued support. I would also like to make special mention of the members of the West Tigers. They are the heart and soul of this club. I regard the members as our shareholders. By paying their membership dues, they invest in this club and like all shareholders, they are entitled to a return on their investment. And it's our obligation to ensure that 2020 provides that return. Whether a major sponsor or an individual member, your contribution, no matter how great or small, is valued and appreciated. I would also like to acknowledge the volunteers and others who tirelessly commit themselves week in and week out for the benefit of this club and all the junior clubs that fall within the West Tigers umbrella. Whether it be those who set up the fields, man or woman the canteens, cook the barbecues, our ball boys and ball girls, thank you. We are all in this together. I cannot envisage a more exciting time to be part of the West Tigers family. There is such enthusiasm and positivity that surrounds this club. Now this might be just the sort of positivity, positivity and enthusiasm that surrounds every season launch, but I think it is more than that. It is different. It was evident from the faces of the members who attended Members Day at Camden last week. It is evident from speaking to the coaching staff about the way the boys are responding to pre-season. And it is evident from speaking to the boys themselves how they want to do themselves, their family, their teammates and their club proud. I thank you all very much for attending today. I look forward to celebrating the success of the West Tigers with you throughout 2020. This is our vision.